They tell you how fast you can drive, if you're near a pedestrian crossing, if you're allowed to park, and when to stop. Imagining a city without street signs is unthinkable. It would be mass confusion. Nobody would know where they're going. Um, intersections, nobody would know what to do. Bloomington has more than 15,000 street signs scattered throughout the city. And what many residents don't know is many are made by our own traffic maintenance employees. Making signs is kind of an art form. Uh, everything we do in this shop is, is sort of an art, uh, from making signs to painting the roads. Traffic maintenance staff continually takes calls regarding damaged or unreadable street signs. But during the winter, they're out combing the city looking for just those signs. Typical life of a sign out in the city is anywhere from 10 to 13 years, depending on where it is, what kind of sun it gets. Um, typical replacements is anything that's being knocked down, uh, vandalism, and then faded signs. Um, once they re reach their life cycle, then we need to replace them. Townsend said once they have their list of street signs needing replacement, they input each one into a computer, which then plots onto a special cuttable film. The numbers or letters are cut into the film, so once finished, they can easily be removed from the outline and placed on a special adhesive paper. One thing that we do is we date all of our street name signs, so then we can tell when they've been put up. Uh, it's something that we've added. We've been doing it since 2004. And that way we can quickly look at a sign, a street name sign, and tell how old it is and how long it's been up and how, long, how much life is going to be left in it. Next, the reflective sheeting is mechanically pressed onto a metal plate and neatly trimmed to size. The green adhesive cutout is then placed on top of that reflective plate and secured using the same press. And with that, we have a finished street name sign. Bloomington Traffic Maintenance makes about 1,500 signs per year. Other signs are used so frequently, they're purchased elsewhere. Townsend said removing the old sign and hanging the new one is the last part of the sign making process. While also noting, it's a great feeling knowing you're somewhat responsible for residents finding their way around Bloomington.